Hi, welcome to a short tutorial on how to make your own custom NFT frame to bring into the Game Maker and display your NFTs uh, in, in the Game Maker. So I'm in Vox Edit at the moment. I clicked Modular and I created a new file. Um, and this is the X, Y, and Z. This is what you see when you first open up Vox Edit. Uh, what we're going to do here is change this value to two. So it is two voxels thick. To make an NFT frame work, it needs to be two voxels thick or more. If it's one, it won't work. So just say we want to make a really large NFT and we put in 300. It says the maximum we can put in is 256. So that's as far as we can go. We'll go ahead and put the maximum values in. Then on the left here, we're going to fill in the space. So we'll click the bucket tool and just click anywhere and it fills in the space. Um, now if we go to the side, we'll see it's two voxels thick. We'll just make sure that's the case. Yep, perfect. All right, so now we have to make sure this anchor point, push this button here, is center. So we'll go ahead. Uh, half of 256 is 128. So we're just gonna find 128. So we're in the center and we'll drag this to zero. So we're right on the NFT frame itself. So just go ahead and hold shift to snap it. There you go. And same with over here, it snaps to every half. And I think that's at the bottom, perfect. Next, we select the frame tool. Once we select the frame tool, we're gonna to select the top corner and drag it all the way down to the other end. So we're covering the whole surface and you'll see it's turned green. We'll go ahead and save. And we're gonna go ahead and export that to Marketplace. So you select the picture, click export. And when you click export, it will open up your browser. Make sure you're logged into your wallet and your sandbox account. We'll go ahead and create a new asset and we can talk, name it whatever we want. Frame test, we'll go ahead and copy that over here. And we'll click continue. And once you create it, uh, it's lagging for me at the moment, but I've already made it. We'll go into the sandbox you have to reload the map once you create an asset before it shows in the library. So here's the large frame we made. We'll go ahead and pop that down. Select the large frame and add the component NFT image. If you don't see this option when you've got the asset selected, it's because you didn't do the framing correctly in Vox Edit. So you need that option there. Now what we're gonna do is put an asset URL you have to put an asset uh, that you own in your wallet. So you can go ahead to OpenSea. This is an asset that I own. You go and copy the link up the top, bring it into the Game Maker, and you can paste it here and click Validate. It's recognized the NFT, so we can go ahead and continue. Now, if we click Tab, you'll notice it's on that side and it's not the whole image. So. What we can do here is we'll go ahead and rotate this so it's facing us. And we want to make the scale to resize. So now when we press tab, we've got our NFT displayed. And because we aligned it in the center, uh, it aligns on the frame perfectly. There's a little bit of a gap at the bottom. All you gotta do is just push that underground a little bit. And there you go. That's how you bring your own NFT inside the Game Maker. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, message me on Discord and I'm more than happy to help. Have a great day.